Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us right now. I'm Mark Sinney. Hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. Along with those concerns about a possible shutdown, there are also questions tonight about when people here in Connecticut will start getting a vaccine and also who will get it first. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio is in the newsroom right now with what the governor had to say about all of this tonight. Patricia. Well, the governor did a virtual webinar with the Connecticut Mirror and was interviewed by radio host John Dankowski. Tonight, the governor warns December is expected to be a pretty tough month with COVID infections in our state, but at this point is not moving forward with any shutdowns. I think we're going to watch carefully over the next, uh, you know, two plus weeks to see where the trend lines are, and uh, that will be determinative. Governor Lamont tonight saying the infection numbers and hospitalizations we see post Thanksgiving will be drivers in decision making. Yesterday, the governor met with doctors who are urging him to put a pause on indoor dining and gyms in order to prevent hospitals from reaching capacity. But the governor saying the data shows the majority of infections are coming from elsewhere. It's not necessarily even in that restaurant or that gym. Uh, more likely that informal social gathering where a couple of friends come in and they know somebody else and you let your guard down. I think that's where we're finding the greatest risk. The governor also giving a preview of his press briefing tomorrow about who will be the first to get the COVID-19 vaccine in our state. Connecticut is set to receive 20,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine on December 14th and another 20,000 of the Moderna vaccine the following week. He says there's no question who should get it first. We're going to make this uh, at our press briefing tomorrow that uh, healthcare professionals, doctors and nurses, frontline, we've got to have you on the battlefield. Secondly, um, elderly, frail elderly and um, those in nursing homes. The governor says that as more and more doses become available in our state, he is hopeful that there will be general opportunity for people to be vaccinated this spring. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.